So my name is Lisa Meyer. I'm a professor for microbiome host interaction at the University of Tübingen. My lab is interested in the human gut microbiome and its implication for human health. So in the last couple of years, we've began to understand that the microbes that colonize our gut are of extreme importance for our well-being. We have learned that these microbes basically form an organ themselves that interact with other organs, for example, the brain. We have also learned that the gut microbiome is extremely complex and diverse. So there are roughly 100 times more microbial genes than human genes on our body. And because there is this strong interpersonal variation, this adds up to 15,000 times more bacterial genes that we need to investigate across the population in comparison to the human genome. So my specific research focuses on the interaction between drugs and the human gut microbiome. So we are interested in how drugs interact with individual microbes from the human gut microbiome and what's the consequences for human health. And we investigate these interactions at different levels. So for example, we are interested how drugs affect individual cells and species and strains of the gut microbiome. So what's the target? And how, these, how would this microbe respond or resist to these stresses? On the next level, we are interested in microbial communities. So how would the response that we've observed in pure culture would differ in a community con context? Would microbes protect each other? Or would products be produced that make other species within the microbiome being more susceptible to a certain drug? Now, on the level of the host, we are interested on how drug microbiome interactions influences the efficacy of therapy, but also whether these interactions are required for a certain drug to work or whether they result in side effects. So in my lab, the microbes actually are the focus of our work. Gut microbes are a little bit tricky to investigate because they just grow in the absence of oxygen. So all our work has to be done within an anaerobic chamber. Now we want to investigate a variety of different microbes and many, many different drugs. So what we do in my lab is we employ high throughput methods to uh, investigate many of these interactions. And therefore we have robotic systems inside anaerobic chambers to um, investigate the impact of drugs on these microbes. On the level of communities, we have two different setups. On the one hand side, we have synthetic communities, but we also have complex dual derived communities. The advantage of working with synthetic communities is that it's basically a modular principle. So we kind of design the communities that we want to investigate and we can take out individual members or add additional members depending on our research question. However, that's a very simplified model. So when we want to um, investigate the complexity, we usually work with dual derived communities. Those can be derived from healthy individuals, from patients or from individuals that take a certain drug. The next level is then investigating the consequences on the host. Here we work with animal models, so with knotobiotic mice, or we take samples from human cohorts. There are a lot of aspects that we want to investigate. It's on the molecule level, on the community level, on the ecological level. So we need a team of interdisciplinary experts to analyze the data, to discuss our results and to understand what we observe in our experiments. So what we did in the, in the past was a huge screening endeavor where we tested the effect of 1,200 different marketed drugs on 40 prevalent abundant members of the human gut microbiome. And what we found uh, was really surprising. On the one hand side, we looked into antibiotics. Antibiotics have a clear target on microbial cells. They are designed to inhibit pathogens. However, they also inhibit the beneficial human associated uh, microbes that colonize our gut. The effect actually is stronger because it's not that we have a strong class and generation dependent effect. It's also that many of the bacterial, the antibacterials that inhibit the pathogens would actually kill the commensals. So eliminate them from, from our microbiome. So there is a huge collateral damage that we observe. So for the non-antibiotic drugs, that's mainly drugs that target processes in 
the human body, we were surprised to find that roughly 24% inhibited at least one of the species that we have tested. And that's really eye-opening in a sense that it means that if we take a drug that is not necessarily antibiotic, we also collaterally damage our gut microbes with all the positive consequences these microbes have on our body. In addition, it also implies that by taking a non-antibiotic drug, we might develop antibiotic resistances um, that then can fire back if we want to treat an infection. Investigating drug microbiome interactions is important for any therapy. On the one hand side, we have this collateral damage of many drugs on the gut microbiome. For example, for antibiotics, it's known that if they are taken in a critical window in early childhood, they have consequences such as development, higher risk of development of asthma or allergic diseases. So this is something, hopefully with our research, we in future can reduce or avoid. On a second point, we know that gut microbes can degrade or bioaccumulate drugs, thereby reducing their bioavailability and uh, reducing the efficacy. And that is depending on the individual microbiome composition. So there is a clear link to individualized or personalized medicine. So understanding these interactions in the long run will have the possibility to improve uh, clinical outcomes of many therapies across all different therapeutic classes in a personalized manner. So currently we focus our efforts on particular drug classes that are of interest to us. Those are the antidepressants, the antipsychotics and the anti-cancer drugs. In the context of the cluster of excellence controlling microbes to fight infections, we are particularly interested in our side effects such as infection risk. So our, our hypothesis is that by taking any drug, we might decrease the complexity of our gut microbiome, thereby opening niches for pathogens to colonize, and in particular for susceptible patients that might increase infection risk. <laughs>